Microsoft Teams, Zoom, and Google Meet are all popular video conferencing and collaboration platforms that businesses can use to enhance communication and collaboration among employees, customers, and clients. Each platform has its own set of features and capabilities and businesses may choose one platform over the other based on their specific needs and requirements. For myself, I've used all three platforms pretty extensively for many years and I've seen how they have grown to the ever-changing market and consumer demands. And there's no doubt that after the worldwide pandemic of COVID-19, the demand for video conferencing apps has increased as well as the exposure of these apps are known to more people worldwide. A recent study in 2023 shows the percentage of market share each of these three apps have, with Zoom being the top at over 57%, Microsoft Teams coming in at second at 24%, while Google Meet is at number four with over 6% of the market share. Does that mean that Zoom is the best video conferencing app for you? In today's video, I will go through in detail each video conferencing app and give my personal thoughts on which platforms suit your needs best. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph. I run a production house here in Singapore doing photography, videography, live streams, and basically everything tech. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will categorize the comparisons and rate each video conferencing app accordingly. So at the end of the video, you can decide which platform suits your needs best. Both Microsoft Teams and Zoom offer desktop apps while Google Meet is entirely web-based. With desktop apps usually comes with more functionalities. So that means both Microsoft Teams and Zoom have more functions that you can use within the app compared to Google Meet. However, this also means that Google Meet is actually more user-friendly and easy to use, in my opinion. In terms of complexity of functions, Zoom is slightly more difficult to use if you are just looking for a simple video conferencing app. Zoom has really a ton of functions and if you are looking for a more professional video conferencing app, that gives you lots of options and functionalities, Zoom is the one to go to. So for this category, ease of use, I will give Google Meet 5 stars, Microsoft Teams 4, and Zoom 3 stars. All three video conferencing apps come with their free versions, and the main difference between the three is that both Microsoft Teams and Google Meet offer 60 minutes of free meetings for each meeting, while Zoom only has 40 minutes. If you are looking to host meetings using the free version, Microsoft Teams and Google Meet are the slightly better option because they offer 20 minutes more. Most of the time, for myself, 60 minutes is more than enough to talk to my clients, to update on certain projects, or just for a quick meetup discussion. So I will give Google Meet and Microsoft Teams 4 stars and Zoom 3 stars. Because Microsoft Teams and Zoom both have desktop apps, they offer higher security as compared to Google Meet, which is really a simple, user-friendly, web-based interface. Also again, Teams and Zoom offer way more options in their app than Google Meet. So for this category, I would give Microsoft Teams and Zoom a 4-star rating and Google Meet 3 stars. The cheapest paid price plan for Google Meet is the business starter at $8 Singapore dollars per user per month. And it offers up to 100 participants, gives you a custom business email, and 30 gigabyte of Google Drive cloud storage. For Zoom, the cheapest paid price plan is for the pro version, which is $18.74 Singapore dollars per month. But this is for up to 9 users for this license and can accommodate up to 100 participants for each Zoom meeting. For Microsoft Teams, the cheapest paid plan is the Microsoft Teams Essentials which costs US dollars, $4 per user per month, where you can have up to 300 participants per meeting and 10 gigabyte of cloud storage per user. Okay, this is just my personal opinion in terms of value for money. If you are a single user who wants to sign up for a paid plan to get, out, to get more out of your video conferencing app, Teams is the one that I would recommend. So Microsoft Teams, 5 stars, 
Google Meet 4 stars and Zoom 3 stars. Both Microsoft Teams and Google have their native suite of applications that integrate with their video conferencing apps while Zoom is a pretty much standalone app by itself. However, Zoom also has its own productivity tools such as Zoom Docs, but for Microsoft Teams, we do have the Office 365 tools such as Outlook, SharePoint, and OneNote, while Google Meet has its own Google Workspace tools like Gmail, Google Drive, and Google Calendar. So in terms of productivity and collaboration, I will give both Microsoft Teams and Google Meet 5 stars and Zoom 3 stars. All three platforms come with their own mobile apps for iOS and Android devices, allowing users to join meetings, participate in chats, and share content on the go. However, in terms of functionalities, again, within the mobile app itself, Microsoft Teams and Zoom do have that slight edge over Google Meet. So Microsoft Teams and Zoom, four stars, Google Meet, three stars. For free versions, only Zoom comes with recording during meetings. However, they are saved locally and not on the cloud, which means that after the meeting, you can save the recording onto your computer. For Microsoft Teams and Google Meet, only their paid versions allow you to record meetings. So if recording is an important part of your consideration, and if you are using the free version, Zoom is your best option. So for this, Zoom 5 stars, Microsoft Teams and Google Meet. 3 stars. Okay, so I've gone through pretty much what I would consider essentials when it comes to choosing between Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, and Zoom. I won't go ahead to tabulate the scores for each app because honestly, they're all really good apps and excel in their own ways. And you really need to download all three apps to find out which is the best suited for your needs. So for myself, on a personal basis, I use Google Meet very often because it is really simple to use. So I go to meet.google.com, I can start a meeting or join a meeting and within seconds, I'm in a call. So for my corporate jobs, for large corporate clients, I mostly use Microsoft Teams due to the security features it offers. And usually within large organizations, the team already has in place the security infrastructure for me to run the meetings or webinars easily. For my weddings, I usually use Zoom because it seems less corporate than Microsoft Teams and it offers more functionalities than Google Meet. So it's sort of an in-between if you want something looking more professional, but less corporate looking. I hope today's video has given you a brief idea of what each of these three most popular video conferencing apps in 2024 can do. Again, this is not comprehensive or exhaustive, so the best way for you to find out is to go and download and try out all the three apps yourself. And in this YouTube channel, I also have videos to teach you how to use these apps if you are a beginner, and I've put them in the links below as well. So thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, do let me know below and do subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Until the next video, I'm Steph. Take care and bye-bye.